So I'm back down at Brushy Creek in the middle of uh, Central Texas in the uh, urban deer stand as I call it, Deer City, Texas as I call it. And uh, I, I am about, oh, less than 100 yards away from a road and about 100 yards away from a hike and bike trail, but it's all built against a green belt, which I'm hunting that is on the other side of the creek. And um, I am, uh, I'm surrounded by houses that are behind me, and this is all private property that I'm down here, and Game Warden knows that I'm down here. I have a lot of fun at this stand because it is a little piece of hunter's paradise in the middle of a, a very busy, bustling city area. And uh, it's outside the city limits legally, and so legally I have the, uh, the rights and have not violated any ordinances by being down here, but uh, I love this stand. It is my getaway, especially, and it's 15 minutes away from my house, so that's even better. I can go home and still spend time with my family, with my wife and my son, without having to leave and, um, and be gone for a weekend or, or weeks at a time. So uh, this is my one little getaway down here. I'm after a really big buck down here, and I don't know if I'm going to get him this season. I waited out um, a couple of mornings and a couple of evenings already for him, but... Um, I'm trying to do something I've never done on camera, and I don't really care what I shoot. If it's a doe, if it's a spike, if it's another doe, because uh, does and spikes come down here quite a bit. I'd like to kill two deer in one sitting. That's what I've always wanted to do, and that may seem kind of silly, but uh, when you're by yourself, which is how I'm filming right now, and every time I film down here I'm by myself, it's, it's extremely difficult to pull off everything by yourself and make it all happen on camera. And so what I'm going to try to do tonight is, is kill two deer in one sitting and even in between the two kills go run and drag the first deer that I kill up behind my blind and get ready for some other deer to come in. Sometimes they're easy, sometimes they're hard, but it is still just as much hunting as if I'm out in the middle of the wilderness. So um, Deer City, Texas, I love this blind. I, this is something I look forward to every season. This is my happy place down here which is really awesome. So um, I'm excited to be down here. So we're gonna see if we can make it happen tonight. Two deer, one sitting, even if I have to get out of my blind and go and get my first deer and uh, recover it and get ready for the second deer, I'm gonna try to still do it all in one evening. And uh, it's never been done before by me and I've been hunting down here for about four or five years now. So we'll see if I can make it happen. And that is a dead spike buck, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, that was an awesome hunt. One down, one down. Uh, 
we'll see. That, that was my spike buck. That was one I was looking to take off of the property anyway because he's kind of a management deer. And, um, oh, that feels good to get that one out of the way. And uh, I've reset myself. I'm ready to go. I've got some deer that are, uh, that are about 100 yards away from me. I'm going to be really quiet right now and see if I can't make number two happen here. So uh, wish me luck. gosh I finally did it two deer one sitting within 30 minutes out here at the creek stand and keep in mind this uh, this stand is extremely hard to hunt because of the traffic that's around here it's very urban and uh, there's a playground and kids playing you know about a hundred yards away and uh, <laughs> I cannot believe I've been dreaming of pulling that off for a long time now my Luminoc is going downstream so I better go get it back with you in a minute here's our second doe good hit and uh, turn her over to see the other side here Looks like there's the entrance. I did a uh, entrance hole right there angled out a little far back on that one than I meant to be. And that's a pretty good size exit wound right there out the shoulder. Here's my spike buck. Pretty good damage on him. That's our exit hole I believe. Back here is our entry hole, right there. Wow, I cannot believe I accomplished this feat tonight. Two deer, one sitting, and uh, all by myself. Completely self-filmed, self-guided hunt here in this urban area of uh, the Brushy Creek area here. And uh, behind a row of houses, against a green belt, against a creek, and against all odds, I was able to pull this off. My thanks to our sponsors, Grim Reaper Broadheads. Couldn't have done it without you. I actually watched them drop. And that's something I've always wanted to be able to film, is to watch uh, them drop and to get two deer in a row like that was awesome. And um, also to the Luminoc Luminero, to the Barnett C5 Wildcat, which I've used on, this, uh, on several hunts previous to this one, but uh, especially to the Buck Commander Extreme Barnett crossbow here. Uh, carbon light, very light, weighs about seven pounds, and uh, got it done tonight, uh, doubles. I mean, I, I cannot say enough. This has just been a hunt I've always dreamed of filming, dreamed of catching on film. I'd never be able to do it uh, with or without a camera before, and uh, something's always come up, and uh, I fought every odd and made it work this time. So anyway, thanks to our sponsors. Thank you for watching us, and uh, thank you so much for, uh, for checking this out. I, I am thrilled. I, I cannot believe that, uh, that I did this well. <laughs> so uh, uh, thank God uh, for every day we have to hunt in America. Thank God for our freedoms. And um, this has just been an awesome hunt.